Good morning, scholars. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm really excited we get to make more art today. Happy Fine Art Friday. If not, happy Fine Art Weekday. Either way, I'm excited to make more art with you today. So, I have two videos today. One is going to be for, I believe, third grade through fifth grade, and we're going to make um, layered landscape bookmarks. Miss C has been reading a lot lately, so I assume and hope that you guys have also. So the bookmarks will make it a little bit more creative when you guys read. The other video I'm making is for kinder through second grade, and we're going to be drawing some ice cream cones because it's getting hotter outside. And so ice cream is what is on Miss C's mind. I hope you guys are doing great. I miss you every day. I'm so thankful that everybody who has been sending me pictures is sending me pictures. I love seeing your artwork. It makes me really happy. I'm excited that you guys are staying inspired. I know it's hard to stay inside, but you can still stay creative. Um, email me if you have any questions. My office hours on Dojo are 8 to 9 o'clock, uh, Monday through Friday. So I will be on Dojo Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 waiting for you guys to send me messages, ask me questions, or if you just want to chit chat, that's where I'll be. So if you have anything that you want to talk about, that's where you can find me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing your artwork. See ya! Today we are going to draw some ice cream. We are actually going to draw an ice cream cone. We will draw two flavors of ice cream, so start thinking about your favorite flavors. We are going to use a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, and something to color with. So first we're going to start at the bottom with the cone. The cone is kind of like a triangle with a rounded tip. Back up, go across, and then you can have them meet, and that's going to be the basis of our cone. From there we draw the design that's on the cone. I'm doing some diagonal lines, and then I'll go back and do the opposite. And then this way. We're doing ice cream because it's starting to get hotter outside, and so ice cream is what has been on Miss C's mind lately. So here we have our cone. Great job. So now we're going to work on our first um, first flavor of ice cream. We're going to do like an upside down U. And then we're going to do a bumpy wobbly line like that. If you mess up, you can just go back and erase it, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to erase this. And then everywhere that it's layered, or overlapping, excuse me, I'm going to erase that too. So that the ice cream is on top of the cone. If you accidentally erase some of your lines, just go back through and go back over them. So we have our first flavor of ice cream. And now, I didn't leave that much room for another, for more than another one, so I'll just do one more flavor. This one's going to be a little bit smaller again. You're going to make an upside down U. And then you're going to come back with that wobbly line. If you don't like a part of it, you can just erase it. And then over where it overlaps, you're going to erase that line too. like that. But I'm going to erase it and do it again because it doesn't really look like the ice cream is on top. It looks like there's space. So I'm going to go like this. Perfect. That is better. It's okay when you make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Miss C does also. And it's easy to erase them. Oh, I'm going to fix this one. Ice 
cream cone without a cherry on top. So we're going to do a circle for a cherry, and then we're going to make the cherry stem. It's a little wonky, but it'll be okay. I wanted to put some whipped cream on it too. And whipped cream is just like a bunch of wobbly lines. This cherry is going to be sitting in the whipped cream. So I'm going to erase the bottom and the overlapping lines so that it looks like it's sitting in the whipped cream. And there we have our ice cream cone. Great job. Now we are going to go back and trace it with a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use a dark crayon. You can use anything that you want. If you don't want to trace it, that's fine too. Do what you can. Remember, this is your artwork. You can have the freedom to do it however you want. I turned my page so it's easier for me to see the line that I'm tracing. Remember to take your time. So how are you guys doing? Last week it was really hot, so that's why I decided to do some ice cream this week. Because I was thinking about what I like to do in the springtime, which is what, what it is right now. I like to eat ice cream and go outside. Sometimes we can't go outside, which lately we haven't been able to. Hopefully you're still getting a walk in or something along those lines. I'm going to stop really quickly and erase this line and erase this line. So it looks like the cone is underneath the ice cream. I'm going to go back up and remember I said I like to turn my paper so I can see the line that I am a little bit easier. Thank you to everybody who has been sending me artwork. It is so much fun to see all the amazing stuff you guys are creating. You don't even need me. You're making such great stuff. But I really like and I'm really excited about everything that I have been seeing. So keep it up. Keep it up. I want to see it all. Send me pictures via dojo or any way you can. And there we go. There is our ice cream. Great job. I'm just going to erase that really quickly. And there we are. So now, hopefully you were thinking about the flavors that you like. I like strawberry ice cream. So I'm going to do some strawberry ice cream. And then I like some... Ooh, I wonder... Rainbow Sherbert sounds like a pretty good flavor right now. Rainbow Sherbert has a bunch of different colors in it. So we'll just start with those colors. And use whatever you have to color. I'm using something that is oil pastels. I like crayons. And then I'm using these. These are called art sticks. So I like colored pencils. And so I'm going to start with the cone. And I want to use two different browns to give a little bit of a contrast. Contrast means difference in color. Well, it doesn't mean difference in color, it just means difference. So to see something different next to each other, they give a contrast. And so, yeah, maybe you don't need ice cream. It's okay if you don't. You can just draw it for the fun of it. Maybe you prefer popsicles or banana splits. There's nothing wrong with those things. Those are all delicious. You can draw any type of food you like. Missy really likes drawing sweet foods. I don't always eat them, but I like to draw them. 
So now I'm going to use a different color to add to the cone. So it's been really fun seeing all of your guys' artwork. I get really excited that you're staying creative. It's hard to stay inside, but it doesn't have to be hard to stay creative. Keep your hands moving. Keep doing fun stuff. I love seeing it. Great job to all of your parents who are helping you guys do so much stuff. You know it's hard, but you guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Stay positive. I hope you guys are being nice to your siblings. Doing nice things for each other. Playing nice. Miss C has been reading a lot lately. Maybe you guys are reading too. Alright, so we have our cone is done. It looks delicious. Now let's do some ice cream. So we're going to do the bottom will be rainbow sherbet. sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I think there's some swirls in the rainbow sherbet. And again, I'm turning the page so I can see where I'm tracing a little bit easier. Going around. So I'm going to add some swirls with green, and then I'm going to add some swirls with orange. You can even probably make up some of your own ice cream flavors. Anything you can possibly want. I wonder what your made up ice cream flavor would be. I like the ones they have already. I don't know if I need much of an invented ice cream flavor. What would be the weirdest ice cream flavor you can think of? I'd love to hear. You guys can draw it if you want. These are my rainbow sherbet. And then I'm going to go back through with, we'll do some yellow. some funny ice cream. But yeah, what are you guys? I would love to hear what you've been spending all of your time doing. Maybe you can give Missy some ideas on what she should try doing. Let's see. For my other flavor, I think I'm going to do... Oh, I already said, I think, strawberry. I'll do strawberry ice cream. I love me some strawberry ice cream. But my favorite ice cream altogether is probably Neapolitan, the one that has the chocolate the strawberry, and the vanilla. And I like making milkshakes out of it. It's delicious. But yeah, so the heat is coming. It came a little bit last week. It got up to 85 degrees. It was so hot. 
so it's coming. I kind of like it more rainy, to be honest. But I'm excited about that sun. you guys are doing great. You know it's probably a little different than what we're used to around this time of the year, but I still hope you guys are doing great. This is new for everybody. And there we go. There is the rainbow sherbet. Maybe rainbow sherbet has more colors than these ones, but these are the only ones that I can remember in rainbow sherbet. Alright, so now we are going to do strawberry it's up top, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go around my Sharpie line. Strawberry is pretty simple. It's all pink. But maybe you'll do I'll do the type of strawberry that has little chunks of strawberries in it. That sounds delicious. strawberry. I am gonna add the little chunks of strawberries to just make it a little different. Mmm, delicious. Now we still have that cherry. Perfect. I'm gonna turn it so I can see it. Whipped cream is white, so I'm just going to leave it the color of the paper. And then I'm going to go really dark around the edges of the strawberry, and then color it in lighter. Again, to offer that contrast. And there is our ice cream. It looks good enough to eat. Great job, guys. I'm really excited. Remember to send me pictures of what you guys are drawing. I can't wait to see it. Have a good day.